me and my fiance, we are getting married, right? And to be a part of our wedding, you have to pay $450 for a ticket. And that's for each guest. So we invited friends and family to our wedding. Tell me why everybody that we invited has declined the invitation. Oh, yeah, I'm laughing, okay? Because there's a bill that's just been passed in Pakistan to say that every man has to have two wives. Okay, and they have to be burdened with that responsibility. Let's not call it a burden, shall we? To look after them because there's too many women in Pakistan now and the men have to step up their game and they have to work their butts off and they have to provide for their women. Never, ever be with a man that has ever used escorts, sugar babies, massage parlors, any of those things. Never do it to yourself, girls. I promise you regret it. Even if you are the escort that is going to marry this guy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Just your podcast, man. Yeah, back. Oh yeah. We're back. Hey, hey, hey. This your podcast, man. Another week, another Tuesday. Another day of the back. Hey. You know, you know who's in the building. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Oh, hold up, hold up. So now, oh now it makes sense why you got the fresh, uh, uh, what are they called? Dreadlocks. The, she, she got the fresh dreads. She got the fresh dreads. Look at it, y'all. She got the fresh uh, dreads. What they call? What they call the uh, poetic justice braids? No, these are not the poetic justice uh, braids. Something like that. Well, well whatever. We we I, we trying to figure it out, but. Oh, you got your hair done because your 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 birthday's coming up. First of all, my hair is done every time. Uh, I know uh, that's, that's not a shot. Uh, it's just saying like you got yeah, yeah you got real fancy on it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> birthday this ain't coming even up. Fancy birthday yeah. behavior. Okay, yeah, you're fancy, huh? Whatever. You're fancy, huh? <laughs> it is not my birthday. Nails my birthday done, hair did, did, everything did. That's every three weeks. That's the norm for me. Okay. <sighs> It's just it is, anyway, y'all. Anyway, anywho, <laughs> this your podcast. This your podcast. Yeah, man. Are you ready? You ready? We get you some ready for the night. Yes, sir. Look, we are gonna give you a few seconds. Hurry up, get that popcorn, get them candy bars, sit down, enjoy, have some fun with us. Goddamn, get you a little brewski if you eat glizzies. Yeah, get you one of those. <laughs> that's on. That's on you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we want to make sure you get right tonight. Exactly. Hey, ain't no special. Hey, T, ain't no special guest over there with you tonight. Now nah. I'm, I'm good. I'm you can, good. You, can, you, 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 got, you got the whole couch to wild out now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know <what> I mean, <laughs> listen. Make sure y'all sit back. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. And what? Go ahead. I was. I was just gonna say. Make sure they sit back. You know, enjoy the show. You know what I'm saying? And what's that? The crack of the us? what? 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah. You know, I got. I, I'm, I got. I got to find a new one. Okay. All one. right. You know what I mean? But oh, until don't, then, let, don't don't be letting don't guess be letting, who's that? Don't don't be letting him change up your your listen, whole little listen, motto. Keep he done came up in here last week with the whole introduction. Now it's like, now you change your stuff. Now Come listen, on. guys, because Ply came up and this joint tore that oh, thing up. Yeah. That, Shout out with that Ply. intro. Boy. Yeah, that was <laughs> that, that was legendary. That was on fire. We should have recorded that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so look, shall we go to the first video? Let's go. So the first video, we got a woman that explains why she walked away. From her husband and her two kids. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know I mean, Dad, you ain't even hear the story yet. God, <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> doing like you was like you was last heifer. week. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the heifer G. Let's find out what oh, she has to say. Boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, look at Peanut. Ass. This Peanut kick it off as usual. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. I walked away from a twelve-year relationship with two kids. We have been together since I was 16 years old. You know, I had two children as a teenager. And I can honestly say that as young adults raising two children, we did pretty okay. But about six years into the relationship, I began to feel stuck. While he was sticking to and accomplishing all of the goals that he had set for himself, I was feeling like my life was just becoming like a revolving door of mother, and wife duties. And then the goals that I have for myself will come last. I will come up with all these plans on how we could, you know, relocate to California as a family. And he would entertain it, but he never spoke life into it. And when it all hit the fan, I walked away from everything. And you know what was the hardest? 
the judgment and criticism that I received, especially from people I thought would be in my corner. After leaving that relationship, an overflow of blessings and opportunities started to come my way. It has been an extremely long journey of healing. Well, I didn't know who I was outside of being a mom and a wife. I am that too, but I'm also more than just that. Now I am getting to know LaBrittany. Okay. Wow. Did she say LaBrittany? LaBrittany. That's her name. Oh LaBrittany. Okay, so LaBrittany. Oh wait, wait. So before we go to the comments, so she gave up her husband and her kids. That's crazy. How can you just give up your kids, though? You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the comments. Mm. So, uh, America, <laughs> the first comment said she wanted to run the streets. Right. Of course. I believe it. I told you. Huffy 16? G in the building. Of course. Yeah. 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 So, second comment, as soon as you have kids, your only goal should be to help your kids reach their goals, period. Wrong. You think that's wrong, bro? No, you can't do that. You, you, because you lose yourself. Like, because at the end of the day, them kids are going to grow up and go on about the, you know, on their own journey. And then mm -hmm. you look back and you ain't did nothing. Now you just, you out there lost. So I, I don't agree with that. All right. All right. So, Lil, we're going to get right up on you now. Shout out. Last comment says, why you couldn't just accomplish your goals in the relationship? Well, I mean, she was saying that he wasn't he wasn't helping her. He wasn't giving life into it. First of all. So is that is that what she was saying? That's what she said. But we don't know. But also yeah. at the end of the day, one thing that I have always said to people getting into those, quote unquote, long term relationships at such an early age. You don't know yourself. You don't know that man. Mm -hmm. He don't know himself. But at the end of the day, y'all done made y'all done brought two lives into this world. How are you going to just up? That's what my, my issue is with her. How are you going to just up and just leave your kids? To the, to, the, to the father but you know what if she want to be in the streets because that's what she obviously into she want to have some fun yeah so obviously uh she want to be in them streets man so yeah, what do you gotta say what, what do you say bro so listen she says something that stuck out to me and i'm gonna play i'm gonna play a little bit of devil's advocate so just say she wasn't trying to run the streets just say she was trying to accomplish her goals she admitted that in the relationship he accomplished his goals so at the end of the day, how was he able to accomplish his goals in a relationship with all the mm -hmm. stuff that they got going on? But she couldn't. She was saying that he wasn't giving life to her goals. That's what she said. All right. But she, she never was supporting said, him. She never said that. She never said that she was she was supporting his goals. She just said he he accomplished his goals. Yeah. Right. So to me, it's just like, did she even really have any goals to begin with? Or did he just have the perseverance to do it? Like a lot of dads do and husbands do is like, hey, the situation I'm dealt with, I just yeah. I'm gonna deal with it. I'm right. a, I'm a, I'm a still chase my dreams, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep my uh, priorities intact in too. And it's then she perseverance because at the end of the day, once the kids are here, that doesn't stop nothing. Like you, you still have to pursue those goals with or without the kids. But she yeah. like at the end of the day. I don't know, man. It's just to me, it's like to she when she said, "Well, you know what the hardest thing was, the judgment." No, the hardest thing should have been leaving your kids. Right. That was the part I was How like, "How you care I'm about waiting the judgment. for you to say that you went back and got the kids." Or right. Once the once you said the yeah. blessing started overflowing, your next statement should have been, "And I went back and got my kids." Uh, yeah, I, right. I went back into work on right. my marriage. Because don't get me wrong, there are times where you can leave a relationship, whether it's male or female. You can release. You can leave a relationship, and next thing you know, blessings blessings start flourishing. So therefore, that means okay, whoever you were with at that point in time, they weren't supportive for you. However, the kids don't have nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Kids don't have nothing to do with. She's that. nutty for that. Like that. That again, I understand if the you know you, you met each other at sixteen. By the time you said twelve years, so he was twenty eight. So yeah, by that time, y'all two totally different people. Yeah, who might not have the same you know uh feelings towards each other might not have the same goals mm -hmm. aspirations yep. all of that stuff so i get that but the kids that that ain't got nothing to do with none of that you gotta fix you gotta fix that and so she uh, she out of pocket for that one. i like, mean the she, question she, is is that she have the maturity to to even do that because yeah. like uh. right now at this point is like she's flourishing but the question is is what are her goals what is what are, what are the blessings that she is um obtaining 
that does not include her kids. And how do we know she flourishes? And we don't. She could just, yeah. you know, yeah. she, well, she could be out there just running the streets. Right. Or, or her only fans is yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, man. she got that thing, boy. She is out living the life like I'm golden. <laughs> living the life like I'm golden. Come on, man. <laughs> I hope she ain't out there on that o- OF or chasing yeah. some. Well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before we move on, did she say. What you know? I mean, her how, how her life was no. flourishing. No, she no. didn't. She just said she blessings. just said it was flourishing. She yeah. just said blessings her bl- blessings were flourishing. She, sound, she never said what she was doing specifically. Sounds very sugar daddy. Hey, because I, I mean, at this point, she's. I mean, th- th- well, then again, everybody, you know, now these days, women put makeup on just to go to the corner store. So oh, wow. she's putting on this makeup, but we don't know where she's going or what she's doing. But hey, I don't know. True. That well, could have been for a date, or it could have just been that she's going to go do whatever pertaining to her uh, her career. So well, who knows? Whatever it is, La Brittany, we don't know you, so you gotta get a little <laughs> bit more deeper into your accomplishments before you just come on the internet talking about you flourishing. I don't know. My thing is, is as a mother, ain't no way in the world I'm leaving my children, especially as minors, to go pursue my dreams. No, they're part of that. I, I yeah. just I just couldn't see myself doing something like that. Well, you know, hey, listen, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe, hey. I mean, yes, tell us what you think, goddamn. Yes, God damn it. Now, who we got in the building? We got we got El Boogie in the building. Yeah, I mean, Boogie. Let's give El Boogie some clap. Shout out to El Boogie. El Boogie said he'll be back. He have a connection. Oh, yeah, connection. We got El Blogger O in the building. Let's get Blogs some clap. Shout out to El Blogger yeah, yeah, I mean, Bly, let you know, man, we got that hot seat waiting on you next week if you can make it. <laughs> yes, sir. Because we need that intro. That intro, yeah, 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 fire. Yeah, what, that intro was fire. So we got a guy who's charging his guest $450 Come on now. to attend his wedding. Come on now. I done paid 30000 Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> who told him to pay that money? Hey, 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 hey. I want to see this video because I ain't see the whole true thing. Podcast. Let's go. All right, TikTok, tell me if I'm tripping or not. So me and my fiance, we are getting married, right? And to be a part of our wedding, you have to pay $450 for a ticket. And that's for each guest. So we invited friends and family to our wedding. Tell me why everybody that we invited has declined the invitation. We already have spent 100, maybe almost close to $200,000 on the wedding. We have already pre-ordered the cake. We already put down a deposit for the venue. Um, we've already got the wedding dress, everything. We pay for everything for the wedding, DJ, photographer, everything for the wedding. And what I don't understand is, is that y'all spend 400 f- more money, more money on stupid stuff, but you can't come out to support your family and your friends at a wedding. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell it like, is we wrong? We like, 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 let me know. Let me know because y'all pay for tickets. Beyonce tickets, a thousand dollar tickets. Y'all going to go meet Chris Brown for a thousand something dollars. But when it comes to your friends and your family, you can't pay the ticket. Like these weddings ain't cheap. Like we, like the weddings ain't cheap. Like, like, like what's going on? Like I don't get it. Like let us know, are we wrong for charging for a wedding? Like I really, really want to know. Why did you say that much? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on now. Yo, he cannot be serious. First of he, all, he, he did like not he charge 450 bucks per person. Man, why you spend almost 200000 on a wedding, though? Listen. That's, that's just... He who is the, who is the wedding for? Is, for? is it for you and your fiancé or for just for show? Because that's what I want to know. Yeah, you should listen, on your wedding, you can spend however much you want. I don't give a damn. But what you not going to do <laughs> is tell me what I got to pay. Right. Now, again, I do understand. See, this is this is where people need to have self-awareness. If you know you mm-hmm. hang out with or you've been born into a Money. circle full of people who broke as hell or cheap as hell, guess what you do? You have the wedding that you want and you take your fiance, your soon to be bride, Y'all go to wherever y'all want, and y'all have y'all no shoes there. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ask them people who ain't who ain't <laughs> because who ain't got no money. You yeah. know what? At the at the end of the day, nine times out of, times out of ten, and this is the sad part from a female's perspective. Perspective, not speaking for me, but what I've seen is is a lot of times when people go to these weddings, yeah. they only go just so they can see what's going on and have something to talk about. It's like, okay, here you are. You want to nitpick at every 
everything, the person's dress and, you know, this and the, and the decor and all that. But wait a minute, you ain't even married. So how the hell you want to sit here and, and judge my wedding, my dress, my husband and all this other stuff and you not even married. But uh, once again, like I said, is the wedding for you and your fiance or is it for the people it's for, for show? It's for, well, you know, see, normally everybody we always go to the comment after we read the video. But we can't go to the comments because he turned the comments off. Now, oh, wow. <laughs> he knew. Now, I'm going to tell you, hold on. Hold on. When I first saw it, when I first peeped the video, I'm reading the comments. I'm like, oh, man, I need some popcorn. Because wow. they was going ham on them. I bet. They was going. So when when, when I research these videos, I, be, I, I always like to uh, search for the ones that seems real. You know what I mean? Not the yeah, the trolling ones, the, the trolling or the or the phony ones. When I first, I said, "Yo, this video can be real," but then Ain't no way when you, know, you turn the comments off, oh, then you know that shit is real. Yeah. Again, homeboy, well, he was he was real with it. He <laughs> got his answer. Listen. Yes, you're wrong for charging people four hundred and fifty dollars for your for your for your wedding. Beyonce and Chris Brown and all that. That's a totally different venue. They are famous people. People are paying for you know for the specialty your mm -hmm. wedding is not a specialty you want people to come to your wedding for support you don't charge nobody 450 dollars for no daggone wedding so my thing is is like okay look you gonna charge the 450 dollars for a wedding or do you want the gift which, which one or the other listen like like the like uh one of our supporters in the chat in the chat like Leia said seems like you thought it all through but you didn't think it all through <laughs> yeah <laughs> you were trying to be big slick. up Leia big you, up Leia right, facts. <laughs> you was trying to be slick because again just like just like uh, T said if I pay four hundred and fifty dollars to show up to your wedding which is cool I'm cool with that yeah. whatever okay cool if I if I have the money to do it I definitely will but guess what. <laughs> Don't look for me to bring a car, <laughs> a gift. I'm not yeah, bringing you ain't, napkins. You ain't, you ain't bringing nothing up. I ain't bringing a goddamn. Look, not even a plus one. I'm coming with my hands like this, <laughs> so you know for a fact. Oh, CJ, bring me a damn thing. You're goddamn right. <laughs> not I even a plus one. It's just me. Yeah, no right. plus ones. No, no plus no, ones. No, no, I'm bringing a plus one. Oh, you better for four hundred fifty dollars. No, oh, no, 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 no. It was per person. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, bro. You talking not that nine hundred bones of her. $450, yeah, dollars, guess what? <laughs> I'm, number one, I'm coming, because the ceremony is only 30 minutes long. So I'm only going to hit about 15 minutes of that. And and I don't, I'm don't, I'm not drinking right now, but on that wedding, huh, it, it better be open bar. Right. If I got to so pull out a dime, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> You're get 15 minutes of my time for my $400. Yeah, Trip. listen, I know, I know that, that wedding was empty. No, no, no. Look, now, that, but first of all, now, I don't think they got married yet. Yeah, now, this is the thing that kills me. I know, I know his wife or fiance had to be crushed. No, but, yeah, but, but, but did she think it for herself? Did she agree? Did she agree? Yeah, nope. yeah, she agree did. I want to know. Nope, she I want to know. It, did, did she think it though? She nope. She no, was ain't going no off. Hell. She was letting uh, Rayvon make the decision, <laughs> and he listening to him. Now none of her family showed up. So guess what? On his wedding night. She was pissed. He probably didn't get. He probably ain't gonna get no yams. Exactly. <laughs> no, you said no yamage. That, you said that the uh, because at the, the end of the day, this empty. is the beginning of bad decision the, the making in their go, wedding. In yeah. their the marriage, ain't gonna be empty. It's gonna be them, the preacher, and all the helping people, all the people that's like in the that's in the uh, uh, venue that's helping out. All so that food. They the ways. ones that's gonna be drunk. All that food. No the else here. Tripping. Yeah. Man, that's I the know. beginning of bad decision making in that marriage. Son. Oh my lord, have mercy. Yeah, this joint podcast, man. Make sure you drop man. a comment, drop a like, yes sir. And subscribe. Tell us Tell what us you what think. You and if I'm single, Rayvon, and I come to your wedding for four hundred fifty dollars, and you don't got no lookers on there, I'm gonna slap you. Oh, back oh in yeah, here. it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> yeah. There's a problem. So wait, so let's go to video number. That was video number two, right? Number two. Three. That was number two. Th that was I number said two. We all went to number three. All right, so the video. Let's go to video number three. So video number three. Now video number three. I'm unsure if this is true or not. 
So I need uh, somebody in our chat to look it up. Yeah, our Let us know if this is true. But, yes, we got a TikToker that says Pakistan passes a bill to say that every man must have two wives. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord, please. You gonna move, CJ? Come on, Lord. I don't ask for too much. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He's he like, that. please, if you, you can please, swing Lord have to mercy. America. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean. Look, it's this Trump podcast. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Oh, I am laughing, okay, because there's a bill that's just been passed in Pakistan to say that every man has to have two wives, okay, and they have to be burdened with that responsibility. Let's not call it a burden, shall we, to look after them because there's too many women in Pakistan now and the men have to step up their game and they have to work their butts off and they have to provide for their women. O-M-G. There's too many unmarried women in Pakistan, and because of that, they have now passed this bill. Tell me what your thoughts are. Obviously, nobody wants to be a second wife, but over there, there's a different level of um, lifestyle. I mean, you've got a lot of poor people, and these women are being neglected, and they are yeah, being awesome. made... Um, public property so the man being the responsible protector and the provider has to do and play his role in accordance with now wasn't there something in the quran that said there would come a time where there would be more women than men yeah, and this yeah, is yeah, yeah, that yeah. moment yeah. if you are still on the fence about whether or not we're heading towards the end of times get off the fence people because it doesn't have to be slap in your face but how huge is this news for the not only just the pakistani communities but anywhere else where there are more women <laughs> personally i wouldn't be, i wouldn't have to be I mean, obviously, I have a choice. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, UK. Thank you, London. Thank you for my British passport. <laughs> Hold on. So, before we go to the comment, I got to make some reservations. <laughs> some reservations? What? Flight reservations? Hello, Delta. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a... Uh... I get one way, one way ticket to Pakistan, Wait, please. He said one way, not not round trip. He said one way. Yeah, one way. <laughs> so look, I just looked this hours? up. Okay. I just looked this true? up. Is so it, true? it says in Pakistan, different religions, different religious communities follow their own set of personal laws regarding marriage. Mm -hmm. um, some other religious group typically cannot enter into second marriages unless certain conditions are met. So basically, from what I'm reading is. What she's saying is partially true, not completely oh. true for all of Pakistan. Oh, get out. But you know, once again, so like, okay, like we're, we're going through that now. It's not just Pakistan. It's always been the ratio of women to men has always been high. So that, that don't mean that, you know, okay, like here, you know, the ratio of uh, women to men is so high. It's like, okay, what you want to tell every man that they got to have three wives? Well, I mean, that doesn't, um, that still doesn't account for some of these dumbass women with some of their dumbass theories and, and dumbass social media statements. Such as? And like, you know, Heffa. Uh-oh, You can uh -oh. be replaced any time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I, uh -oh. I, can, I can almost guarantee that, you know, there's a lot going on over in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So I can guarantee that the majority of those women have nowhere near the thought process of the modern American woman. They just want to be taken care of. They're not asking yeah. for Birkin bags. They're not asking for Steak 48. They yeah. just want to make sure. So I'm pretty sure, like, I understand well, what I mean, Boogie that, put in the chat. It, like you it, said, it's not about that like Western culture. Headaches. It's not about that Western but culture. But over there, they probably cool with the bare minimums because they probably, they not getting it. So I'm pretty sure that you can, you probably can, I don't know you, you about probably that. take I mean, on three I mean, Pakistani women and they, they'll probably be like, the lifestyle that I'm living, oh, it was way better than no, what I had. Yeah, so not, their culture is completely different. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It really depends you on the, the person. Society. That's what I was going to say. It really depends on the person. So yeah, just because somebody's from Pakistan don't necessarily mean that they don't have like high standards. No, no. I'm just saying that the, the average Pakistani woman not the ones that are Western. So you getting a so you getting a one a, a, a one way trip to to Pakistan too? Uh, I'm just going. Yeah. I'm just make sure my passport is updated. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, my shit. <laughs> just my my reservation already went through. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> that quick? <laughs> I don't play, baby. Hot wire. Oh Lord! <laughs> Let me see. Look, I do Expedia. <laughs> Listen, y'all rich. I do Klarna. <laughs> 
Let me put this to see if I can make four pages. You had to pay it on time. You had to pay it on time. All right, so, so look. So the first comment. First comment says. First comment. First comment says, what are requirements to become a Pakistani citizen? <laughs> Hold on. I'm with homeboy That, must, boy that here. must be a male. I'm with homeboy over <laughs> here. with y'all. So you know, y'all three amigos, y'all just go together. Yeah, we come back. We come back with like like six women. Oh, Lord. Yeah, in two apiece. Look, those laws that's right? over there is not the same as over here, so don't even come over here and try to play yourself. Wait, what? <laughs> I got a pack. I'm, I'm a Pakistani citizen. I got yeah, leave dual, that, leave I got dual citizenship. There. Leave that crap over there, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 the second comment. Second comment says, <laughs> two mother-in-laws. Hey. <laughs> you know, yeah. Listen, kids. Yeah, uh, boy. <laughs> Uh, Sharita right here is uh, <laughs> she's moving in. <laughs> yeah, just you know, your mother's gonna be upset, but um, we'll get over that. Okay, <laughs> we, got, we got a little bit more help around the house now. Yeah. We'll do this as a family. So we got third comment says no law has been passed. Got the guys excited for no reason. Even uh, still, I know. Hey, listen, the average salary in Pakistan per year. Is eight thousand nine hundred seventy three mm-hmm. U.S. dollars? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm super. I'm I'm sure. I am. Y'all said I y'all am moving there. Woo. So yeah, think about. Right. Let's think about. I, I'm. Oh, I'm never moving there. Hmm. I'm going to go get my wives. <laughs> What they call concubines? He said, Why? I'm gonna get, go my get the concubines. concubines. <laughs> I'm bringing them back over here. Yeah, what, but 8, once again, that is a Pakistani law. That does that's hey. not necessarily mean hey. it applies in Pennsylvania or so the United guess what? States. No, I'm gonna I'm handle my business there. We gonna take a uh, vacation <laughs> to America. <laughs> come right back over here. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, T. Tell me, come on, T. You might go over there. You might go get yourself two two Pakistani husbands. No, no, thank you. Wash their feet for them and everything. No, nah, I don't think you know, you know that like they keep their feet clean. Just, just, just one. Just one is enough for me. The, the royal penis. Oh, one clean. Pakistani husband. No, one husband. Period. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I thought you like, you know, I think you like to get down with the get down. Hey, I like to please one Hollywood man. Hollywood swinging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hollywood swinging. Uh, not- Wait a minute, Jaleel. No, 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 no. You can't be changing your mind. You already said no. Too many. Hey, see, El Boogie. That's what I'm talking about. El Boogie. That's he's what I'm talking wait. about. We I millionaires over there, baby. Wives. We gonna take up. That's the next, the guy, next guy from Pakistan. Here we come, Pakistan, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let me tell you something. Boy, I go over there with hundred dollars, boy. Super rich, boy. <laughs> you go over there with five hundred, then you making it rain. Oh, <laughs> oh man, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Yes, sir. Tell, Tell us what, what you think. think. Goddamn. You know I'm saying, goddamn, goddamn. Woo. This joint pocket. This joint pocket. Yours. So what we got? So we have video number four, right? Number, video number four. Oh, yeah. So wait a minute. Wait. Hey, bro, we we not doing no Spanish tonight. We, ain't, we I listen. I gave up on it. You gave up on it? Yeah. I, I mean, know, this, she she ain't committed to it. So uh-huh. and it's her birthday. So Th- gonna, it is uh, not my birthday. Not it's, today. It's, it's coming up. It's like it's somebody's days. birthday. Goddamn. It's not in two days. When your birthday? Yeah. Anywho. Anywho. Right. So video number four. A TikToker by the name of Sadia Psychology, oh God, <laughs> says ladies should never be with a man that paid for sex. Wait, what? What? Yeah, she says that ladies should never be with a man Is that paid a real for psychologist? sex. Paid in general, paid, like yes. in, in paid, like, past, forking over that bread. Past paid, tense paid. Or you know what I mean? Tense. Like, come here, girl. Let me pay you for that boot. That means none of them. I paid a lot. You paid indirectly or directly? Okay, yeah, no, I, I paid that. directly and indirectly. <laughs> <Lord> <laughs> yeah, you Lord. know the saying. You don't pay a hoe to stay. You pay a hoe to leave. Well, I ain't no hoe, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 does, that does not apply to me. It was, hey, listen, if a man ever leaves some money on, on, you, on your nightstand, you know what it is. Going right now is $40. Yeah. What? Hey, listen, hurry up, girl. You got to get the fuck on. <laughs> oh, my fault. I got to get the First fuck on. First of all, on. ain't nobody coming to my house to even leave no money on no nightstand. Oh, my God. You go to pick it. Okay, so video number four. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Ah, look at look at see now a peanut not working. You done broke peanut. A peanut not working, man. Come on now, you got you see you gonna have to do the disjoint podcast, boy. 
It's this joint podcast. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we fucking up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Never ever be with a man that has ever used escorts, sugar babies, massage parlors, any of those things. Never do it to yourself, girls. I promise you, you regret it. Even if you are the escort that is going to marry this guy, trust me, this is a man that pays for validation. It's a man that will pay to feel desired. It's a man that's not willing to work on himself enough to get the women he desires. And more so than anything, it's a man that doesn't look for emotional and spiritual or intellectual connection with a woman. He just looks for what he sexually desires. I know you're going to say, oh, all men have that desire. All that. No, not all men. All losers have that desire. The desire to just have a woman that is just good for them sexually. The biggest red flag is men that pay for sex. Is they're usually porn addicts. They are absolutely addicted to pornography. And how you know that they're addicted to pornography? See your psychologist oh, degree. Wait a minute. You, wait, a minute. You, wait a minute. Now you, listen. Because uh, listen. I want to see where where this study came in at. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We was addicted to pornography just because we paid for some coochie. Now listen, you so, pay for coochie directly or indirectly, just like uh, listen. CJ said. I didn't know that was her name, but I, I, fo- psychology. I follow her. She is normally on point. Like she, her, her, her takes are normally on point. Okay. Like, are you, they are on, you gonna, on point? Are tonight? you going to unfollow at this point? No, I, you know everybody have a down day. Everybody oh, a down so day. Oh, that was a down day for her. Yeah, it seems like it because again, just because I pay for which I've never done directly, like I, just because I pay for, I, I might just know what I want in that moment. So like. Let me get this. <laughs> Let me get this. Okay. And I'm out of here. Like, so what about the emotionally detached part that she's talking about? No. T- again. Addicted I can, to pornography. I mean, I, I can compartmentalize. When I want that, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. But when I want to, you know, a woman and I want to put some time into some effort, I got all that too. So I don't know if that's, you know, if that was completely yeah, true. Yeah. yeah that, so look, 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 let's, let's go to the comment. Let's go. So the first comment says, in other words... No, the, uh, no, my fault. Men got to pay for the first date, weddings, ring, child support, alimony, and still pay. I don't know who wrote that comment. Yeah. <laughs> but they, that, that one was on, that yeah, was on man. point. A- ain't, ain't that right, T? Pay for no, everything? I don't, ain't that agree right? with it. I don't agree with all that. Agree? We pay for everything else. Yeah, whatever, whatever, man. Look, hold on. Let me see what she's going on camera. Whatever. So look, so <laughs> second comment. Congratulations, ladies. We are going to be single for the rest of our lives. <laughs> that was a woman. Look, that was a woman that right was there. Definitely a woman. Because yeah. <laughs> women, uh, man. Let me tell you something. You pay. Men pay. We pay all the time. We it, we pay majority of the time. Yes. No, yes, we all pay all the time. Think majority about it. Of the time. Think about it. A man, he got to wine and dine you, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So after he wind and dine it's you, it's called and, shivery. It, no, no, shivery. Is what it's called, it's, no. he's still winding and dining, mm-hmm. and then when y'all get together, he's still paying for most of the meals, picking you up, picking you up, paying for gas. He's paying. He's, he's paying out the gate. Yeah, women. Again, think about if the woman got the ninety day rule. That means for at least for the first three months, we're paying for everything with no return on investment. Everything. Dates, this picking you up, flowers for no reason, all that stuff. What mm-hmm. do you mean flowers for no reason? Just I'm saying. Just about it, to say flowers for no reason. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, but once again, you, y'all, gotta re- y'all, y'all gotta remember, I'm a little different. Yeah, we're not. So, we're I mean, not going to use you. We're not talking about you. We are talking about the yeah. average. Woman. I mean, think because I mean, you read you gonna spend thousands of dollars, or you just go get a hooker for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah, but that ain't safe. That shit is. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. That's what they make condoms for. Yes, and doctors. And prescription. Oh my god! <laughs> ew! <laughs> ew! <laughs> listen, okay. we gotta cover. That's, that's what y'all do. <laughs> we gotta See, cover. Yeah, man, you know listen, what? Lord, Lord See, y'all, y'all is, good health insurance. This is, right? the, this is where the BV and the STDs hey, hey. and all that come in. And that's in. not. That's not from us. That's from y'all sharing it with <laughs> oh, us. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> y'all share with us, man. Yeah. We got caught up. Hey, this your podcast. <laughs> so. <laughs> So wait, so did we read the last comment? No. All right, here it is, last comment. Or maybe he doesn't want to deal with all the work that comes with dating just to get a quick release. Listen, when you try and get that well, wait power, a minute. I mean, <laughs> you, yeah. anyway, you don't want to do all that again. Okay, well, that I agree with, yes. Exactly. Yeah. So again, would you, uh, this is what I always say to women. And remember, me and you just had this conversation a couple of days back, and you told me about a, a certain situation 
about the guy was just up front like hey yeah what's up like I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful but i just want to know if i can get some of them things i get them yeah so it's like most women are not going to go for that type of uh forwardness so we know that there's a group of women just like uh law and order svu there's a special group of women <laughs> who are okay Damn. with this type of approach yeah. Highly trained, highly trained, skilled individuals, <laughs> and they're okay with this approach. Yeah, and we just take them very, for- very tactical when jumping on the penis. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> and we just use them for their skills. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just they simple. come in. Listen, I want, I want my hooker to come in with flashbangs and everything. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I want a shock and awe treatment. She come in. <laughs> she come in like a wrestler with all these uh, pyrotechnics. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I want to come in with the with, with the little doors and come off the helmet. I want. I want. My, I wanted to fly in like the uh, parachute dudes at the N, at the NFL games. She <laughs> just come fly right on my block. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I paid this. See the other talking about. <laughs> Lay it right here. I, I, I'm in the middle of the street. Lay it right here. Listen, I done got a permit from the city to block the street off just in case. I'm laying in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh, man. oh my God, y'all is dumb. Oh man, listen. just your podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Yes, sir. Tell us what you think, guys. Tell us what you think. Yeah, then. We got, so, video number five. We got. We got a woman that left her husband, lost all of her money. And let's listen to her story. Because I, 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 I smell something fishy going on. This ain't one of my sisters. Yeah, I mean, I smell, I smell, I smell something, something that a, a black woman would do. Really? <laughs> damn. <laughs> God damn. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> He's such a hater. Ooh, boy, the, uh, but look at that. Boy, there's going to be some comments all up in this y'all that night. Boy. She ain't one of my sisters, thank goodness. <laughs> It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. When I left my husband, I w- was only making like $16 an hour. Mm. And so that was not enough. And so I got myself into a lot of credit card debt because I moved into an apartment that I couldn't really afford, but I thought that someone else was going to be living with me in it. So... What, what do you mean? The ex? No. Okay, so right after I got divorced, I got into a situation with somebody I knew from work. And, um. Well, how quickly after the, the divorce? Well, like immediately. It was like a rebound, right? I guess is what they would call it. Okay. And like we like the together. day after? Maybe, maybe. maybe sort of, yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. So I knew him, right? We worked together. That's how we met. Well, wait, and how long are you married? Almost five years. Did you guys ever have any kids? Yes. And you got with this person a day after? Yes, but see what? I thought he was like the love of my life. A day after a divorce. Okay. Yes. Sure. And you thought he'd be living with you? Yes. Like I th- Oh, she lying. She, she, yeah. She's lying. Yeah. Yeah. She lying. Yeah. We, she lying. Yeah. She left her husband for, she, she for the that, other dude. Right. And then it didn't pan out dude, the way she thought said, it was. The other dude's like, hell no. Psych- right. oh. <laughs> hell no. The other dude like, I ain't tell you to leave your husband. Hell, exactly. How the hell you think you you just automatically assuming somebody going to be your roommate if you was just married yesterday? Nah, yeah, I had a roommate. She thought Come on she, now. she probably thought that he was going to move. He was like, man, fuck no. Sixteen dollars. Can we read the comments now? so I can go in on? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. So first comment, <laughs> first comment says, in other words, she divorced her husband for the affair part and didn't pull through. Come on, which he left her alone. Come on, which is true. Dummy, yep. uh-huh. Uh-huh. dummy. <laughs> Sixteen dollars an hour. That that took you very far. <laughs> <laughs> Next. No, no, no. Let's go to the next comment. Next comment. So, the work husband, mm-hmm. it happens all the all time. All the time. Yep. Got him. Like Deontay Wilder said, to this day. It's still <laughs> happening to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> yep. So, last comment. 
So she was going to move in with her lover, but he changed his mind and stayed with his wife. Well, well, well. Oh, wow. Said, Look how the table is. He was uh-huh. like, oh, hell no. Look here. She you lost your mind. mind. I ain't going to leave my wife with wife. Now I'm about to grind you up, Emily. Hit it, hit it, homie. Listen here, Emily. Number one, you was not that cute to be doing all that, okay? You probably was an office secretary. And, and main man just nah 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 she was an AA okay uh, alcoholics anonymous too but um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um you thought you was that stuff cause homeboy was blowing your back out and you thought you was gonna move on bigger and better again you never you, you, did you didn't that. keep that $16 an hour in your, in your mind that should have been the top of mind if I if I lose out what's gonna happen uh oh I ain't going to be able to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. You ain't think about none of that. So while uh, Randy was blowing your back out, you thought you was just going to move on. So Ben, he just was sitting, chilling, okay? I already know this is going on. She being different. She just acting weird. Cool. He let you jump right into the deep end. (laughs) Soon as you, uh, the day after my divorce, he probably went, I probably went to Turks and Caicos. He is living his life. And now you over there. Got 18 credit cards because you're $16 an hour. Don't pay for that $2,000 apartment, apartment that you thought you and Randy was going to have. Ha ha. Joke's on you. Uh, go dye your hair and go get on OnlyFans. I'm willing to bet you. Before I pass it to T, I'm willing to bet you she called her husband and tried to get back. Oh, I'm pretty sure she him. did. I bet you. I want to. She was like, shit, I'm fucked up. She probably called crying and everything. Yeah. But how in the world, first of all, mm, look, CJ just done said everything that I was already thinking. <laughs> like, like, like right. <laughs> Listen. I knew, I knew, I knew it was some nefarious type bullshit going on. Diabolical. Because, because you could see in her laugh, her, her sinister smile. She, you could tell Again. she was lying. Yeah. yeah. Her women, sinister laugh. Women are not savages like us. So for her to say that the day after her divorce, she was, uh, Popping that, which means out, she was up. already emotionally Shout out to my over man El Plaga. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my she man El Plaga she, for the, for the she was uh, plotting her way out the new term. So the day after your divorce, you was popping that twat waffle. Already, <laughs> yeah. Already, <laughs> women don't work like that, especially married women. Right. You, that, that twat waffle been popped yeah, over. Sir exactly. poured on it, honey, everything. She, yeah, she was. If, if that was the case. If she wasn't, she would have been crying for at least a couple months first and yeah. then moved on. Yeah. Well, her slick that's what Jezebel she, ass. Yeah, that's she exactly getting, she what she had for G. Way yeah, before. Man. That's, what, that's exactly. I hope she's still making $16 an hour right now. <laughs> I don't know when that happened, but I hope she don't get a raise. Just so you just you had it. You sound like she had a good situation. Like I, Again, I don't know, but. Well, you know, she said she was married for five years. And you left it all because Randy was popping that twat waffle. Well. Hey, yeah, see where it yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably in an office closet. Mm, not even in an you know office saying, closet. Her off they probably vicious. waited till after work was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to stay extra and finish up this exactly. project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ain't that true? Yeah. Anyway, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Yes, sir. Tell you know us I'm saying, what tell you us. Think. That's right. And listen to all our new subscribers that join us tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you yeah. all for subscribing. You know what it is. What is it? <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>